What is going on today guys? We are back at the grind shop for another scooter build. Today we're gonna, I'm here with Jason actually, he's filming. Um, me and Jason are gonna try making the lightest scooter build on the market. I'm not sure if it's gonna be exactly true, but we're gonna try making it as light as we can. We have the scale here, as you guys can see. Issue is it doesn't wanna weigh like clamps and small stuff like that. So we're gonna do the best we can on weighing what we can weigh and what it will read. So let's get it started right now. All right, so we're gonna start off with decks here. That is the most important part of the scooter. That is what you stand on. Um, basically, we are gonna, I think, Apex or a Grit Vendetta is gonna be one of the lightest scooters. So the options here, we got the blue one. We'll just weigh this really quick and see, and we'll just grab the blue Apex and just kinda, kinda see the weight difference here. I think maybe the Grit, Vend the Grit Vendetta is gonna be a little bit lighter. We're gonna test it right now. All right. So as you can see, the Grip Vendetta is three pounds exactly. Not too shabby. Now it's time to check out the Apex. I think it's gonna be almost pretty close to the same, so it's exactly the same. If you guys see right here, it is three pounds exactly. So honestly, it's just all preference now. I'm obviously gonna go with Apex over a Grit. Um, so yeah, now we have our deck. Now let's go pick out the color. So the color options, we have orange, we have this actually super cool color that I like a lot. I don't know, it's, it's like paint splattery teal. We have the green, we have the black, and we have the blue, and then we have black and blue again, which doesn't matter. We're gonna go with the green just to be different. I haven't really seen anyone build anything with this color in quite a while, so let's go throw this over here, we'll build gray. And now we are going to move on to the handlebars. So handlebars, we have a ton of options. Obviously, no, like knowing from my personal Preference and opinion. I know that titanium bars are going to be the lightest bars on the market. We have a couple options. We have these. We'll try weighing and seeing. We have the flight bars. The flight bar. <laughs> the I can't even talk. Flight bars. We'll try uh, weighing as well. And then we have the affinity T bars, which I think are going to be the lightest. I just don't know about the size. The size. Like these are a lot bigger than these bars, so the size might be a little bit affecting the weight. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're gonna start it off with Affinity T-Bars first. I think these are gonna be the lightest, we'll see. I'm sure let's make an objection with these. 1.8. So these bars are pretty light. Let's check out the other two. Next are the Youth Gone Wild flight bars. I forgot what they're called. Back in the day, these were supposed to be my signature bars, if you guys didn't know that. They're supposed to be called the totem bars, which I thought is cooler than flight bars, but whatever. Anyways, let's see the weight. 1.8, what do you know? Why are these all the same weight? Damn it. Last pair of bars are these lucky, what are the silo bars or something like that. Not really a huge fan on the design. Let's throw them on here. 1.6, they're actually lighter than both the other bars. So now this is where the decision really comes down here. So the reason I was wanting to use these bars in general is because these bars are standard titanium so we can use IHC forks with them, which overall I think will be lighter. These bars are oversized so we either have to use HIC or SCS with them, which I'm not a huge fan of. I think these are what I'm going to go with because of that HIC reason. Sorry Lucky, like you're killing it on the lightness, like I was actually just talking crap about them, but they're actually two ounces lighter or something like that than these. So. Props to Lucky, I guess, but Affinity still wins. So, headsets I really don't think matter that much. Bearings are bearings. Top caps are probably top caps. So we're just gonna go with this color because it matches. Bam, easy, done. Yeah. All right, so next we're gonna pick up the forks. Forks are important just because I don't really know why, but there's no color, but we're gonna use IHC. Actually, we were just reviewing and saying we don't really want to make an ugly scooter for you guys. So we're going to switch a couple products. Same stuff, we're just going to switch the blue deck because we don't have forks that match very well and it kind of pisses me off. So I'll put that back up there. Grab down this baby. Put away the green headset and grab. We'll honestly probably just do the silver one because screw it. So we'll take the silver headset, throw it on there, come down here. Get these fastened forks, they're IHC, they're light. We haven't weighed them yet, so let's go do that right now. Moment of truth, we aren't gonna weigh other forks just because I already made my mind up, I wanna use these. Let's just get the weight here. I should probably turn it on first. Now the scale is on, let's try it. 0.6 ounces, that is 
pretty light, I think. I don't really know what other forks weigh. We'll get, we'll just grab forks just to give you guys a rough uh, guess on like how light these forks actually are. So we have the SOB V3 forks in IHC here. They're 1.8 ounces. They are a couple ounces more than those Point ones. 0.8? Huh? You said 1.8. They're 0.8, my bad. They're 0.8 ounces, a little bit heavier than that. Doesn't really matter too much. We're on the search to make the lightest scooter, so we it matters, it matters. Clamps, I've been waiting for this moment forever now. I don't really know what this clamp is used for because it looks so weak, so weird. I don't know how it holds bars on, but this scooter, no one's riding right now. We're just making the lightest scooter we can. So we're gonna come right here. Look at this bad boy. This thing is so weird, so unique, so thin. I can pinch it together with my fingers. That, it can't be a good sign. But um, yeah, we're gonna use it on this scooter. It's time to weigh this clamp. I don't even think it's gonna register on the scale anyways, but we're gonna throw it on. Just as I expected, you guys can see right there, there's no number on there. So that's how you know this thing's light. That's the goal is to make everything not even pop up on the scale. That's how we make a light scooter. So we're gonna use that. Now it is onto wheels. That might be a little rough, but let's go do it. So we can go two options here. One, we can go kind of weird, and I don't think that cool, that cool, I can't talk right now. I don't think it's that cool, but we could use 100 wheels. Obviously, probably gonna be a little bit lighter, it's less material, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna make this scooter at least kinda cool and rideable, where you guys would wanna ride it, even though we just kinda threw a clamp on that didn't weigh anything, which I don't think you could really ride, but um, I'm gonna go with these. Just off my gut, I think these are gonna be the lightest wheels. They're hollow cores, and they're all cut out. You're they're called honeycomb wheels, so let's go weigh these, and I know it doesn't match exactly. These are green, those are blue. Uh, but we're just gonna throw it on and hope it looks cool. Let's go do it. Let's throw these bad boys on the scale. One weighs 0.4, so two I hope weighs 0.8. All right, they did their math right. So we are gonna throw this scooter together, weigh it as a whole, get some grips. Grips don't matter, grips are grips. I don't even think I wanna throw grips on here because really, when you're riding a scooter, do you have to use grips? No, you don't. You can just use uh, tape or something like Claudius, you know? So let's throw this scooter together and weigh it. I'm now behind the lens, guys. Jason is gonna build this for me. I'm gonna get all the cool angles, throw a cool saw to it. So let's get that started right now. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery, and you and I, we got history, yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy, when we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history, yeah. threw on the last touch of the scooter we threw on the little tiny double I don't know what you call this thing a freaking silo clamp or something now we're gonna throw it on this is the last piece of the puzzle Ooh, as you guys can see no top cap it it just better because it it, it saves some weight you know who cares about getting some dust in your headset we are gonna tighten the clamp up and then we're gonna weigh the whole scooter and honestly I didn't think the green and the blue were gonna look like that good but I actually really do like this scooter I would ride this in a heartbeat Got the scooter all put together guys it looks really good there's no grip tape on here because obviously we're gonna take the scooter back apart and put it up on the wall to sale later so we didn't do anything modified like in that sort of way we didn't put grips on just because it'd be a hassle and kind of ruin some grips as well but here is everything we put on that we could nice clean bearings nice 
fresh headset, everything. So now it is time to weigh the scooter, the moment you all have been waiting for. All right, before you guys do anything, pause the video right now. Comment below exactly how much you think this thing weighs before we actually weigh it. If you guys get it right, then I mean, I'll give you guys knuckles or something if I see you in person. But ready to weigh this bad boy. Drum roll, three, two, one. This thing only weighs, all right guys, this scooter actually only weighs six pounds and six ounces. That is insane. I haven't actually like, think, I don't think a scooter can weigh that much, honestly, that's insane. So let's go grab one of the pre-built custom scooters that are pretty light and just see how much that weighs compared to something like this. And it'd be lighter if yeah, the bars guys, were also, cut. Yeah, if you look closely, you can see how tall these damn bars are. It goes up all the way to my hips. These things are huge street bars, you know. So if you cut the bars down, obviously it's going to weigh a lot lighter. But you have to keep in mind that grips and grip tape would probably even that out to what you're taking off the bar. So let's go grab a scooter and see how much it weighs. Guys, we have tons of completes here. I'm not going to be too picky on which one. I just want to do one that like is a typical scooter. Everyone has a prodigy. Let's grab that bad boy and just see how much it weighs. We're gonna throw this bad boy up right now. Like, holy crap, this thing in general weighs eight pounds and four ounces. That's a lot heavier than the scooter we just built, and the bars are shorter. Everything's just bigger on the scooter in general. But yeah, as you guys can see, that scooter we just made is actually really, 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 really light. So there's a quick little rundown on it for you guys. Hope you enjoyed that. We are wrapping up at the grind shop right now. We are closing up shop. We are ready to rumble. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick little scooter build. Um, other than that, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. It might not be as long as some other videos I have in the past, but it's okay. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And that's it, peace.